the next type of memory that we want to talk about, and the next type of storage device, is called flash memory. Now, flash memory is essentially a chip of memory that can retain information without having to have a charge to it. Uh, a couple examples of these would be our SD card and our USB devices. Now, our USB device, we see from the outside, we normally have cases on them to keep us from shorting out the electronic components on them. But when we open up a USB device, we see that we actually have a, lar a couple chips on here, and in, in particular this one chip here in the back. Now, similar to say like a solid state drive, there are no moving parts on this chip. Um, the USB device doesn't have anything that it has to uh, move around or uh, continually spin to access the data like a hard disk drive. The solid, the flash drives, the flash memory, we can write the information onto that memory, it doesn't move anything around, it just places the memory on the chip, and then when we need to access it again, it just spits it right back out. It's a lot faster than having to have moving parts in there, and it works because it allows us to make it very small. We don't have to have these bulky hard disk drives that we carry around with us. Now, these flash memory come in a couple different forms. Uh, for one, we showed the flash drives, and the flash drives will normally be used, say, for instances where we just put memory on the flash drive and we carry it around with us, say, like on a keychain. We also have compact flash. These compact flash are used quite often in high-end cameras such as DSLR cameras or in uh, video recording systems where we want to have that information on the flash. It makes it very easy and very quick to actually put that information on there and then pull it off and put it on the computer. Um, in addition to compact flash, we also know we have SD cards which are usually used in some uh, smaller computers smaller cameras, um, whereas we'll use the compact flash and the larger end cameras, we'll, we can tone it down for the, just the regular uh, SD card for the smaller cameras. And we also have mini SD, which is cameras and some phones, as well as micro SD, which are the small uh, chips that we can see that are put in uh, inside phones. Not the SIM card, uh, we want to reiterate, but the micro SD card is actually what is placed inside the phone to retain extra memory such as uh, applications or uh, maybe contact information and all that can be stored on the micro SD and some phones actually allow you to take that out and replace it with a larger one if need be but not all do that and that's going to be the micro SD card and then of course there's also an X, there's what's known as an XD card and the XD card is something that we can place in uh, older picture cameras so we have a compact flash which is our larger square flash card and that's going to be used for high-end cameras or older cameras and uh, video capture. And then we have our SD card and we'll notice that one will be a bit smaller and is more standard for uh, current small pocket, uh, pocket cameras or some DSLR cameras. Then we have mini SD, micro SD, and we have XD. And XD is more for some older cameras. And then of course mini and micro are going to be smaller than the standard SD. Now you can get adapters for the mini and micro SD to be able to fit into a standard SD slot, which comes in uh, very handy if you only have one slot on your computer that only fits SD. You can get those adapters that allow you to make it look like it's jumped up to regular SD card size and it'll work in a regular SD port.